Hello everyone, this is Jeff the Christian Gamer again with another episode in the Full Clear series of Xenoblade Chronicles X. Here we are at the uh, basic mission request board. Um, I'm going to do Hephaestus the Absconder. Now, before we get into this, I'm going to go ahead and uh, give you guys a little bit of insight as to how I pick my missions. Um, you will notice that on the mission board, under difficulty, there is a uh, set of stars. Um, you'll notice that there are some stars that are larger than others, and then there are some that are uh, different colors, etc., etc. Basically, the size of the star affects how many stars it represents. Um, for instance, this gathering quest is a one star. Um, some may be inclined to think that this is a two star mission, uh, in spite of the fact that this star is larger than the other one. But what this actually means is, uh, well, the larger star represents five stars. So this is actually a six star mission, and this is a seven star mission, etc, etc, etc. All the way up to the highest difficulty mission that I've found so far, which is a 20, sorry, a 10 star mission. Wow, it said 20. My math is so bad right now. Anyway, so just letting you guys know a little bit of insight as to how I pick my missions. Uh, for this stage in the game, I go for missions that are ranging between one star and up to about six stars before I figure, hey, this is not exactly going to go well. So, yeah, between one and six stars for our level, um, between levels 27 to 30, um, is about ideal. Um, especially considering you have a scale, it usually makes the missions a lot easier. Um, on that note, I would say please don't take any 10-star missions until you are in a position where a 10-star mission will not completely obliterate you, which in my opinion is around level 40 to 50. Um, these are my opinions. They do not necessarily represent what is actually going to be um, the difficulty level that you experience. Um, some people are better gamers than I, some people are worse than I, although the worst aren't very many, I don't imagine. But uh, yeah, just giving you some insight. Um, the big star is basically five stars, the small stars are of course one. Uh, let me go ahead and jump out to where we need to go here. Uh, looks like we're going to Roof Rock, which is uh, either south west of FN Site 117 or it is directly north of FN Site 116. At any rate, we jump into Roof Rock and we should be able to find this uh, Nair Duel. Hello, Mr. Absconder. Take the initiative. Let's open this with a bang. Now you'll notice the weapons I've chosen seem to uh, topple the enemy often. Um, yeah, this is basically the way to win really difficult fights that you're uh, unable to beat under normal circumstances. Um, toppling uh, 
hindering in any way is good for you. You always want to make sure that you have uh, the ability to basically knock your foe off base. And you'll see that the uh, strongest of foes go down with relative ease. Alrighty, let's collect the loot from that. Uh, that will be the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching everyone. This is Jeff the Christian Gamer, and I will see you guys next time. Oh, forget, keep forgetting to mention this in my videos. If you uh, like the video and you would like to subscribe, you may do so by clicking on the button that I will include in this video, probably somewhere toward the left hand side of the screen. Um, again, thank you very much for watching. This is Jeff the Christian Gamer.